So to cut a belt, you're gonna need your tape measure, you're gonna need a, your paintball marker, which Gary has here, your T-square, very important square for belt, and your handy dandy belt cutter right here. The most important thing to remember with this thing is you have to mark it one inch off from where you want the cut, and we'll demonstrate that here when we measure it. 96. So we want a 96 inch belt, and then we're gonna mark it one inch longer is where we're gonna put our total mark across it. So there's our first mark and our second mark. Now we're gonna take the T-square, lined up with our marks, one inch longer than how long you want it. And we'll give it a nice straight squared off mark. This is the cutter that we're gonna be using. The handle's adjustable. You can put it on either side. And then you're gonna to wanna to pull the pins out. Both pins. Lift up the top piece. Make sure the cutter head is not in the way so this track is free and clear. Cutter head's over here. We're gonna lay it on there. And then put the top piece back on. Go ahead and repin it. Now, this is the most important part is you're going to want to try to line up that mark as best you can with the edge here to get the belt nice and square. Right okay, you like it, Gary? Somewhere around there. Then you clamp it down. And then just this easy, you crank it. So now you're done, you've opened back up the clamps and you pulled it out and it's cut one inch off from your mark. Now you've got a cut belt. So on a rough textured belt, we have to use a skeever to take off the rough ribs at the edge. So here Gary's using the skeeving tool and he's gonna take off all those bumps and that helps the hook stay on. And then you just take it and you run it down the whole edge of the belt to skeeve the whole belt. Okay, when you cut a belt with a rib on it, you gotta make sure that you cut the rib at an angle, about an inch back from the front. And you can just use a utility knife and you're gonna cut it down so it's pretty much flush on the front end. Okay, when you're done putting all the hooks in the lacy machine, make sure that all the lettering is face up. So we've got one here that's face down, you can't read it, so we're gonna pull it out real quick and redo it. There, now you can lace up. Lace up. We'll put it back in. We'll push it from this end now. Okay, next you gotta pull the paper out. And you gotta get all the paper out. It's kind of easiest if you squish the paper together and then you can just pull it right out. Okay, we're gonna go ahead and lace our belt now. So you gotta make sure these handles are not engaged. These are what hold your belt in place. You gotta feed your belt in. was engaged. You make sure this gap is as tight as possible between the hooks and the belt and make sure that it's not caught on any of the hooks which a lot of times can happen underneath and then you lock down the handles this secures it in place. It's all down in there. Now we're gonna Close the rollers until they're just barely touching. There you go. Now every time you're just gonna keep going back and forth over the lace and tighten it up just a few turns at a time. Okay, we're almost done lacing the belt. 
and in order to check it, you need to take your hands and run them over it. And these hooks will start popping through. You need to make sure the hooks get fully rolled over so they're not grabbing anything, and you can do that by feeling them. Make sure when you're feeling them, you feel underneath and feel for the hooks popping out and feel the top for the hooks popping out. Once the hooks are smooth, you know you've got it good enough. And then you can go ahead and pull out the rod right here. Ready to, ready to pull out the rod, Gary? Yeah. Okay, so you pull this part out. Unclamp your, your belt. Pull your belt out and be sure to check your laces. Especially near the edge, you might get one or two laces that don't grab in all the way. Just take them out and remove them. Now you're good.